Hi, Shana. Hi. Oh, hello, lovely. Thank you for having me today. That's okay. I'm really happy to speak to you. Um, how did you go with everything after we spoke last week? Um, and you had a look through the platform. Um, look, it's really cool. It's a bit overwhelming. Like, there's a lot there, but at the same time, it, it makes sense. But I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know where to, like, with my life the way it is, I don't quite know always where to put everything and how to take that. Like, all, I can see all the science is there, but getting all of that to fit in my life. Yeah, yeah. And it is overwhelming. So just be reassured you don't have to do it all at once. We mm -hmm. just take, take one step at a time. And it's whatever step you choose. It's as big or as small as you like. Uh, the first month, we really just look at awareness. What happens if I make this decision? How do I feel? What happens if I make a different one? How do I feel? And we kind of look at what works and doesn't work. And there's no rush or um, you're not going to get in trouble for anything. So we kind of work through it together at your, pe uh, your pace. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just hope we'll get somewhere then. <laughs> yeah, we'll get somewhere. Don't you worry. Uh, and were there any questions about anything? Um, look, I mean, I, I do have a big thing that always comes up about food and like emotional eating, mm -hmm. um, and especially like late at night. Yeah. Um, and I think the timings, I can sort of look at the time frames and go, yeah, I can pretty well stick to those eating times relatively well with my life. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I still feel like I'm not sure how I'm going to combat the late night, um, cravings and, um, things like that that comes up. Yeah. There's, um, what an excellent segue, Shana. Um, an awesome way for us to start to explore the reasons behind your emotional eating is to go into what emotionally drives you because we're all driven by emotions. Mm -hmm. So what we'd plan to do today, what I'd plan to do with you today, if it's okay, and I've already obviously sent you the worksheet through to have a look at, is to go through that worksheet that I sent you. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you've had time to look through it, yes? Briefly. <laughs> um, and we'll do the exercise that we call reset your mindset. And the reason we do that is, is it's really important for us to understand why you make decisions or why you do things before we go into what it is that you exactly would like to do and how we're going to do that. Because um, as I mentioned before, we're driven by emotions. So it's great for me to have an understanding of your emotions um, mm -hmm. and also for you to have an understanding of your emotions. So we'll start um, that little exercise. Wonderful. And I know you've already had a little think about it because my lovely diplomat clients have always had a little think about it. Mm -hmm. um, so you've had a little read through and thought of a few things that you would like to happen the next six months. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I, I would like to um, stop my emotional eating late at night. It is driving me crazy. And, like, and I'll be knowing I'm doing it and I'm still feeding my face as I'm going, don't do it, don't do it, why are you doing it? And suddenly I've eaten the whole packet. Mm, I don't think you'd be alone in that one. Oh, well, <laughs> apparently I am when I'm eating all the calories. I wish I had someone else <laughs> to share it with. <laughs> Good point. Cats don't eat chocolate either. Oh, damn. Mice do, apparently. Peanut butter oh, too. Yeah. Um, okay, so just... No one... No, so the other one is just constant overwhelm and just getting my life in order. Like I, I've got lists upon lists and I've got my books with all my stuff and every page is another list. And so I'll write the list and then I'll sit there and get freaked out at the fact that I have a list, a million lists. Yeah. Last night was good. I smashed out a heap of stuff, but now after a day of chaos at work, I've realized there's a bigger list on top of the other list and then a bunch of stuff that I kind of listed, but then forgot about. And now I realize that they're getting very due. Right, right. We'll see. That's another thing we can work on too is prioritizing and trying to reduce some of the overwhelm. But um, one thing I've learned is that uh, sometimes even when you take things away, you just add more things in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, some. and if I'm not doing it, then someone else sure as shit is. <laughs> I've noticed that with my diplomats, they kind of like have a lot going on all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the creativity, but I've noticed it's creativity. Yeah. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It seems to be a really creative thing of creating new things, but then creating new lists to go with those things. Um, so we, we will get to that sort of stuff, I promise. Awesome. Um, so reducing overwhelm. Is there anything you want to add to that? Turning me into superwoman so I don't need to sleep. 
Mm, we can optimize your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we can amplify your day. <laughs> um, I think the other one would just be, what would I like to have? Oh, just a, a, a healthy, um, healthy waistline would be my other thing for six months time. Which I'm sure will be a, a um, cast off from the rest of that. Exactly what I was thinking. It'd be a, a, by, a positive byproduct of these and these because if we can reduce your stress, then it will definitely reduce the way that your body metabolizes the foods as well. Yeah. Um, which is really, really great. And so what, what are your reasons? Now, this one, I, we, there's a little quote that we'll have, which is why until you cry, I'm not going to make you cry, but the reason, well, I don't know, I might, the reason right. we, we get to the real emotion on, on what's behind things. And so that can quite often be a little bit overwhelming, but um, it's a really useful tool to be able to help us to make decisions for the long term rather than just the short term. So we tend to, um, a lot of the time, if we haven't established our why, our true why, we'll make decisions just for a short term gain, just to what makes us feel safe and happy in that short term, while neglecting to, to see that the long to, there'll be a long term pain associated with that. So once we establish your why, you're more likely in that moment to make a decision that you might not like, there's a long term gain from that. And that's kind of what we're looking for here. So that's why we go into this part of it now, which might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm here for you. Uh, what are the reasons for this? Um, I just, I'm sick of, like, I get really down on myself when I go and do the emotional eating. And I know it's because I'm avoiding things or allowing so much overwhelm. And I find that the reason for it is because I'm a coach myself and I'm meant to be perceived in a certain way. And yet I feel like a contradiction at the fact that there's this shadow side of me that I can't seem to grow a decent relationship with, if that makes sense. Like there's this, this other part of me that constantly keep sabotaging my steps forward and all I want to do is move forward and and drop the overwhelm and drop the busyness I actually don't want to be so busy all the time I actually mm. want like this flow I actually want like a really good balanced lifestyle um and all I seem to keep getting is spanners in the work and titanics with icebergs jumping in front of them mm -hmm. and so are these related up here Mm. So Just you, the overwhelm, like um, this is the major one. So the eating is related to the overwhelm, would you say? Yeah, and the waistline probably is too. Exactly. Yeah. So it really comes to the overwhelm, and so we did discuss this before, mm. and we'll let you on a little bit of a secret. We spent a week together discussing this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's about reducing the overwhelm and the overwhelm is there. Why do you want to reduce the overwhelm? What would that mean for you? I can breathe again. Yeah. Um, and reduce the anxiety. Um. Busyness. How do I spell busy? Busy? Busyness. Busy? Busy American? Busyness. That'll do. We know what we mean. So this busyness, but even the busyness can be a distraction. Yeah. And I think it is. I think it's, I think it's a distraction, but I don't quite know what the distraction is from. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's a fear of not being good enough mm -hmm. to be where I am, mm -hmm. to be the leader that I am. So perhaps if you make yourself so busy with multiple tasks, you can, ev you can never actually complete the tasks or fail them. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, or all I do is fail them, which then confirms the fact that I'm not good uh, enough. Uh, set up a nice little self-fulfilling prophecy there. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Welcome to Shana's world. <laughs> okay. It seems like welcome to diplomat world sometimes. <laughs> so that this actually makes sort of sense. So if we go all of these things up here are maybe re related to the feeling that maybe you're really not good enough to complete these tasks. So you put lots of them there. So then there's no way that you can possibly successfully complete them. And then you prove yourself right. Mm. 
Okay. So we, we actually don't want to do that anymore. No. Why? <laughs> um, cause it's exhausting and I, I don't have time, space or energy. Oh, there it is. I don't have time, space and energy to find love. <laughs> and how why is that so important for you because i'm lonely and you know what it's normal everyone everyone needs love in their life um And I seem to go to work so that I don't have to feel yeah. those feelings. Mm -hmm. But it's weird because every time I get into a relationship, I find a way of sabotaging it because they're not good enough. And I seem to settle for mediocre relationships and then break out of them because they're not good enough. And so then kind of you do the same with the relationship as you do with the tasks? Yeah. So yeah, I create the situation where it's making me too busy, too much, too distant. Both of them tie in together. Mm. And if I really think back to it, I, I mean, I've, I've done this before is realizing that it's actually my dad mm -hmm. as a child, every time he would come home, um, we'd just we'd spend the week fighting and arguing. And by the end of the week, I was in love with him again. And then just as you start to really connect and bond, you'd have to go again. Yeah. And so I realised that my whole life I've kept myself busy enough and disconnected just enough mm. that I can stop feeling that feeling. Yeah. And I can definitely understand that. And I mean, we, we both know that's out of our scope or my scope as, co as a coach. Yeah. Um, but it helps to really understand um, what's behind it all. And then it will seem like the things that we put in place will be a surface level compared to what is behind it, but it really still helps to identify what's behind it. So then you can go, well, do I want to go and explore this a little bit further with someone who's qualified to help me? Yeah. Um, which, is, which is certainly something you can think about. Um, but then kind of what we would do together might be other little things that um, can make you feel good in your in your skin yeah set you up to so just sometimes when we just put one little foot in front of the other and have little wins which is also awesome for the diplomat to have those little wins and we'll set them up so that then you can feel a little a little bit better with some little wins and some little serotonin hits and it kind of helps to create some positive momentum definitely that sounds if that sounds like it's something that would resonate with you yes um so um allow love and flow and play <laughs> and i mean they're things that all humans crave um all humans need some more than others um yes. but certainly my big diplomat friends <laughs> just see how much love they need and Stable yeah, it's like this needing the extra love and then not feeling worthy, but then realizing that as much as we make ourselves busy, so we don't need it or have it, it's actually the the the, the blood that pulses throughout the veins, really. Yeah. <sighs> we didn't even mean to, and then we did it. <laughs> 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 so I mean, there's a few different things that, I mean, there's some things that you can do with me and then some things you, you maybe want to consider speaking to someone else about. Um, but what do you think, let's just say we can put some positive things in, into place and we won't talk about this today. Mm -hmm. We really just want to go, well, what, what are the reasons to kind mm -hmm. of calm your life down? If there are things in your life that are creating chaos and taking up space, how can you take charge of that and either either accept them as chaotic or mm -hmm. maybe remove them. Could, sorry, you go. No, that's a big thing that's come up for me at the moment is, um, and I've realised in the last couple of days with everything going on is I have to take a new 
approach or a new perspective on those things and realize that they are just for now. Mm. And instead of me getting the shits every day and waking up, it's so funny. So of me getting up and hating the, the options that I have, I actually need to wake up and appreciate the options that I have for now and know that they too will morph into the next phase on their own without me having to force them or freak out about them constantly. Cause that's just robbing me of the happiness in the moment. That's so true. That was such lovely words of wisdom. <laughs> and so I've just kind of realized that today is that I, I kind of woke up and went, yeah, I'm up early and it feels like shit. But at the same time, it's my choice to have that perception and that it's really torturous or I can actually just find ways of, I think at the moment, with the, the amount of chaos that's going on, it's just finding the little, you said it before, the little wins, finding the... Yeah. The little tiny things that I can step on, little lily pads I can step across the um, pond with and slowly find a path. Yeah, and I mean, um, it still might feel like shit and that's okay, but sometimes when we add a whole nother rejection of that feeling like shit and get upset about it feeling like shit, we do. We unnecessarily add negative feelings that don't need to be there. Yes. Um, but it's still not going to feel very nice for you to be getting up and rushing around at 5 a.m. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, I, did, I did well last night that I packed my bag completely. So all I had to do was wake up, freshen up, throw the clothes on and get out the door. Yeah, nice one. Um, that's a great thing to do. <laughs> yeah. um, so let's just say, and we've got some very, very big things on the horizon. Woo! Yes. Um, let's just say things get moving with that. And we've cleared out some of these things that either feel imposed on you or you've chosen, but you still don't like. Um, we've cleared some of those away. Um, actually, I'm going to go to this one first. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to end on a negative. I'm going to end on a positive. Yeah. Um, let's just say you didn't do that. Let's just say you kept the chaos there. Mm -hmm. And in the next six months, you're still feeling the same. Um, how would you feel then? I think I'd feel like death. Like death, that's not a great feeling, is it? No, I feel like I'm in the middle of that anxious, um, uh, you know, how anxiety can really drive you sometimes, but you know that it's only short lived. It's the, the match is burning yeah. and it's, it's in a furious flame right now, but I know it will fizzle out soon. Mm. So I'm, I'm in that awareness and I'm just allowing it to push through, push me through this for now. Um, and I have a massive weekend of work booked for myself. Awesome. Um, Very proud of you. Yes. Uh, just so I can get on top of everything. Whilst, yeah. as you said, with that PH360 profile, is also whilst making sure that I'm doing my fitness mm. in the afternoon and, and yeah. um, eating the right foods and whatnot. Yeah, but while you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed like this with your fitness, just go for like nice long walks, um, mm. get moving, just use those to feel like you're having time to yourself yeah. um, rather than really smashing out the fitness. Um, that is a good point. Mm. Um, so could I say here, drain? Yeah, big time, please. Um, I feel drained. I feel exhausted. I feel disappointed. Um, disheartened. Yeah. And... Like I've lived out my own self-sabotage prophecy. <laughs> yeah. These hearts. And yeah. And it's kind of like, yeah, I did it, but not in a good way. Yeah. Prove yourself right, but not in a good way. <laughs> um, to be honest, you know, things got good um, in many ways over the last year. Mm. And then since I broke up with Brad and I have now made a few bad choices that are really present right now. Mm. Um, and there are parts of me that feel like I've thrown myself back to square one again, but at the same time, I'm, I'm having to learn how to surrender. And I'm, I think if I'm still suffering like this in six months, I'm going to be, I don't know. Like that's why death came the first word because I'm just, I'm kind of done struggling. Mm. Yeah. But we're doing it. See, even all these things, you've never done these things before. No. And you've never, really come to these acknowledgements or conclusions before like this is huge this is vulnerability at its best <laughs> thank you for telling me oh thank you my pleasure uh, yeah but and i mean it won't be death it's more like a rebirth so we're going to change these words over here to rebirth um maybe up here 
<laughs> here I am just taking over, but I think, yeah, you haven't done this before. You never have You're doing brand new things. Yeah. Yeah. It is exciting. Yeah, it is exciting, but it's, it's not, it's still okay to acknowledge that at the moment it, how it feels. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to have the liberty of putting rebirth here. Rebirth, yes. Um, but just quickly here, what, what do you think, and we've definitely spoken about this, what do you think, what decisions would you have made or not made if we stay here? Um, I think decisions to not, not change my, um, not change my outlook on things and to not own my part in things. Um, and I think allowing myself to get swallowed by the tidal wave. Yeah. So do you mean like when you own your part, you can, you can more take some good action on it? Is that what you think? Then you don't get swallowed up? Well, yeah, I think I just want to make sure I don't go into victim mode with anything. Okay. Sorry, I'm being diplomat wordy. Yeah, no, that's okay. I just want to, um, so then if I properly understand like what it is that you haven't done, then we can look at changing that to what you do. Yeah. Okay. So don't know my part. It's me not organizing oh. things and prioritizing things. So not prioritizing them. Or, um, and we've, spoken about this about doing a weekly plan now so we can, we can actually do that yeah I've got templates for that so we can do like we discuss kind of going okay what do i want to get out of the way on monday yes um and then what that does even if it's like i want to get a way out because i sometimes do this like all the fiddly little things so then you go oh i did it and that's then we get those little bits of serotonin that we're looking for so it yes. could be one day I get rid of all the fiddly things that don't take much time. And that's um, what I've noticed in the big overwhelm I've been having. Like I've been noticing, I've been creating, creating those lists and going, well, the big things are too much right now. I'm just going to find all the little things I can do, just get them done. But then I find then the next day happens and I go, fuck, there's a whole lot of more little things. But is it more avoidance? But, but yeah. We, that, that's when we go into the, the how. So we, we will obviously for now we're doing the why but once we go into the how we might go oh yeah let's do a plan and then you go oh it didn't work for this reason or i actually found i just found a new way to distract myself from doing the big jobs and we go, okay cool that's really awesome to have that awareness how can we get around that so that's later we'll, we'll, we'll next week um yeah. tomorrow not tomorrow yeah. i wouldn't do that to you <laughs> i'm a more reactive diplomat that's for sure uh, i'm more switched on um yeah so that's what won't happen and is there anything else just not not only your part if you might going to victim to not prioritizing and all those um allowing the um allowing myself to avoid the emotions i think that must be what the eating is 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 um eating the emotions so i think that would be the one is um I realise that once I've made my food, I have to get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Make my food, get my cup of tea and be away from the kitchen so I'm not back in near it. Yeah, and then be prepared to sit with those emotions. And that can be the time when you call me or you call mm. someone and even just validating those emotions. They do, they do, you experience them and they don't stay there forever. And we know that. Yeah, no, I managed to process everything the other night with Brad. That was the loneliness. Yep, great job. <laughs> Mind you, since then I have had a bit of chocolate at night time the last two nights. But is, is chocolate in your list, like dark chocolate? We can have a look. No, it wasn't dark chocolate. It was a oh. little stupid Christmas Santa thing that I ate. <laughs> White chocolate. <laughs> um, okay, that's awesome. We can now, we can transform this. So let's go into the happy place now. Um next six months so we're around september now which is fair um things are getting moving we've cleared some space we're getting used to sort of ticking things off not to avoid the actual issue but so you can really start to get into the task and accomplish what it is that we want to accomplish here i'm um, going to feel 
powerful. I'm going to feel um, on purpose and clear. And you are powerful. You're very powerful. <laughs> so powerful, I create tornadoes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, purpose for clear. Um, I'm going to feel gratitude, so much gratitude. Um, and I know that I will just feel so like my heart will be so full of love. And I know that when I'm like that, I'm just like a giant hug walking through a shopping center. I just, when I have love to give, I give love so much and that's really important. Yeah, it is. And I will receive that love from you. <laughs> um, like if at the start and then just accept the Shana hug. <laughs> oh, um, um, that's beautiful. And what, what decisions would you have made? And we can kind of transform these ones. Yeah, just really prioritising. Um, probably the beginning of, of every Sunday, just sort of looking at what the week's got, looking at the workload. Um, I'm actually going to try tonight um, doing the half hour alarm system and just um, switching everything off, have my music on, but no Facebook and just smash through things for half an hour mm-hmm. on my list. That kind of worked last night. Last night I was quite avoided with a few things yeah. and um, social media is a wonderful thing that distracts me. Okay. Yeah. And again, we can work through that sort of stuff when we go into the what and uh, the how how are we going to do it? But I mean, you're already aware. So you know what you're already doing? You're already transforming this bit. Yeah. This I'm only the part. It's like the moment I'm sitting going, right, well, I've got to practice my sh- my presentation, but at the same time, I've got catering that's coming up on Friday. So I've got to cook tonight, cook tomorrow, plus get a couple yeah. plans done for Megan. Megan's got a deadline that needs to be done by the morning. And like, mm-hmm. I'm just all the stuff. Yeah. Um, so this week is just, and this is, but this is my life. Like I'm like, I want to prioritize and organize, but then I go, right, well, I've got this catering thing has got to be done. I've got a couple of invoices that need to be done. I've got a heap of programs that need to be done. Um, and everything needs to be done now. And oh, that's right. You still haven't done this week's six week self evolution program stuff, put it into the, into the thing. Like yeah. just overwhelm, overwhelm, yeah. but also going, how can I humanly make this possible? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we'll definitely, we, we will definitely work on that because it is possible. You're in charge of your life. Um, and so you can make the decisions to have what you want out of your life. And just this financial easy. knock I've taken just makes me feel like I now, <sighs> since before I was going, yeah, I could quit one of my jobs and just have a bit less. I know. I know. But we can even make a plan around that. I mean, Paris is only a few weeks. Three, two weeks. Two weeks of income. Yeah. Yep. And so then it's, it's potentially boom time. And then, so I think what we, I think we've discussed this before, what would help. And again, we're going into the how, but you know, we're diverging a little bit um, is to go, when would I be happy to do this? How long would I be happy to do this for? Yeah. Yeah. With some dates on that realistic dates. Um, And so actually, no, that's probably, it's probably down here a little bit anyway. So let's go, let's, let's try to stay on task. (laughs) <laughs> blah, 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 blah. so six months is there we've got the main project that you're working on which is, which great. is our business yay um we're working on that mainly maybe still doing a little bit of work just to kind of buoy the process yep um a couple of days to give me a th- i think it gives you that structure too like even when going to work sucks if i can hmm. choose the lesser of the demons it would yeah. mean that it just gives me a day where I go, right, well, I have to be awake at this time. I have to get to work and I have to do that. And then I have to go to the gym and like that gives me that cool structure. And yeah. I think that in saying that, that just drops a penny in me going, then I need to do the same on my days off. Mm. When, when we are doing everything up and going is, is scheduling it like I am actually working a normal job um, and utilize yeah. those times effectively. <laughs> Lucky you've got <sighs> queen organizer here on your team <laughs> i love that because <laughs> i mean it's it's very it's a it's a very important thing to do but we'll plan that together because we'll have to do it together mm, and i like that yeah and so i can easy hold you accountable to that one because yeah i'm pretty anal about that and awesome. we, then we could just work out like when our when we're in our genius time together and we'll plan we're digressing again okay <sighs> 
<laughs> Were there you prioritized effectively anything else you've done? Um, made? made peace with the things that I cannot change. Ooh, that's a huge one. I'm just going to paraphrase here or make a little it's acceptance. Yeah. Peace comes from acceptance. Yep. Um, it's not the same. <laughs> no. Um, and then what else have I done to make this work? And then dropped away the things that no longer serve me. Yeah. Which makes me laugh. If I can break up with a boyfriend, how can I not get my life much more in order? Oh, and just imagine the relief of making these decisions as well. Like, oh. Ugh, can't wait. Um, <laughs> awesome. It's happening, by the way. It's already happening. Yes. And so have you done anything yet or do you have any plans on what you're going to do? And it doesn't have to be now because, as I said, like today we just want to go through why. But have you thought of any actions or have you done any yet? I think you have. I kind of, I have, I have been doing it and I need to go through this book and have a look of like a page for every day the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. that I probably need to flick back through and just go, right, what have I missed? What have I missed or need to do? Um, I potentially won't get much sleep tonight and just, I have a lot of work to get done. And then I have a full day at my other job tomorrow, which is a massive day tomorrow. Yeah. I have dance tomorrow night and then some catering and then go dish that up and then deal with Megan all day tomorrow and then deliver the food and get back and do that and work till four and then train myself. And then tomorrow night, I haven't decided if I'm going to try and work or have dinner with someone or have a glass of wine with someone. Okay. I'm edging towards a glass of wine, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or gin. Um, so maybe let's with this sort of stuff, because there's a lot going around right now, let's leave this as to what are the actions going to be. Actions. Because meditate every morning no matter what right so that's what you've decided to do yeah yeah I'm, I'm really making that a practice even this morning i made sure i did before i left the house and how good did we feel when we were on retreat just doing that little bit of breathing and meditation so good yeah i generally try to do it every morning and and i did this morning and i actually managed to drop in i have to keep that that meditation um set because um i managed to drop in really heavy really quick which is lovely it's probably what really helped with shifting things. That's awesome. So it helps with clarity and reducing the overwhelm? Yeah, big time. Great. I love that. Even at, even at night time, I actually shut down last night. And instead of jumping in and watching an episode, I actually meditated instead. That's really great. So you're already doing things to just calm down a little mm. bit. Barriers would be my fucking life. <laughs> Finances. Um, but they don't stop you meditating. No, they don't. The barriers would be um, allowing icebergs, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And so if you just got up, we're already going into overcoming them. If you just got up in the morning and didn't look at your phone and yes. just did a 10-minute meditation, um, that, then the icebergs wouldn't come, would they? Yeah. Well, I no. should have asked you, what, what, what do you think you could do in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do. You're correct. You're spot on. That's exactly what I've had to know. I have noticed um, the days when I get up and look at my phone, boom, psycho, crazy emotions and thoughts and reactivity. The days where I'm like, fuck the world. I'm just getting up to do me. And then I'll look at you later because I know you'll still be there. Mm -hmm. It's the days where I get a lot more balanced and calm. So, so what do you do about that? Uh, don't look at your phone, love. <laughs> I thought about turning it off for something else and I was like, well, no, my meditation's actually on there. Yeah, I used to have a separate phone that didn't work. Well, it wasn't um, connected just for meditations. Well, ah, how could you get around this barrier? <laughs> oh, actually, let me have a look at this phone. This is my work one. Let's see if I can set this task right now. Yes. Great. We're already doing it. And you, my work hasn't. And who would you like? To, who would you like to hold you accountable? Would you like to be held accountable? Yes, my love. That would wow. be you. Okay. And how would you like that done? Probably just try and test me in the mornings and be like, "Hey, Shana," and I'm like, "Hey, what's up? You did it. <laughs> You're looking at your phone." See, oh, <laughs> see if you answered. I've got really something exciting to tell you, and then just see. If you're not. 
<laughs> Ellie's good at that too. She doesn't see me up on early sometimes. She's like, what the heck are you doing awake this time? <gasps> yeah. Boom. Dobbed in. All right. I think so, I've got to keep me accountable. We digressed a lot then, but um, that is to be expected. But we did get to the bottom of it and that's really... It's maximal steps. Do. So if we can just really remember that sort of stuff when things start to get busy and if you're seeing that maybe you're doing it to yourself so i'm just gonna yeah. shut the door my son just left it open so then it bashes and bashes and bashes which is very irritating <laughs> so instead of yelling at him i'll just shut the door <laughs> well done um and so thank you so much for for no, allowing thank you. me to i know big moments um you said you wanted to just go through the food so what we might briefly do if it's okay with you because we're already overwhelmed by quite a lot so i don't really want to add more overwhelm to you yep no, that's fine especially because food is a way that it the overwhelm then manifests with eating um yes. eating so i don't want to add more overwhelm to you yep, so no. The only thing I want to brief talk to you about today, and I can put this in the working document that I have for you for food, okay. is to just go through the guide. Right. So for you, just to start to familiarise yourself with the food list. So just get in the habit of if you, you kind of going, oh, should I have um, an apple or a plum? Go into the habit of going into the list, looking it up, seeing what one's in a higher um higher up on your list and choosing that yes. one if that's all you're doing that's awesome don't stress too much just get into the habit of of looking at it uh then the food guide we'll briefly go through this now i'll add this into the document and then what we can start to do from what we um discussed today is build on certain different recipe ideas to start to make a good plan around that yeah beautiful that? yeah that sounds good awesome uh so vegetables in general um Avoid them being cold. That's the same for all of us. Our digestion doesn't really cope with um, our food being cold. Yeah. So at least have your salads at room temperature or you can warm up some of the other vegetables. Yeah. Your green leafies are your best friend. <sighs> it's Every interesting that it says dinner. lunch and dinner. I've always found that to be interesting. Or dinner. Mm. I mean, you could do both, right? Surely. Mm. You can't have too many friends. Um, the root vegetables makes me sad yeah so one serving three times a week so we'll write all this down because there might be some other things in there that we can put in place so that you don't feel like you're missing out yeah um, and sometimes even just knowing that it's every second day you don't feel like you're missing out because you'll have it the next day and you plan for it mind you pumpkin doesn't mean it means pumpkin's not included with that so that's oh, great I love pumpkin <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just as I mentioned before, if you plan for it, it helps to not feel like missing out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Love a good plan. Uh, fruit, again, cooking the fruit or keeping it warm is a great idea as well. Um, and then you can list to see the properties of the food. Um, of the fruit, sorry. Dried fruit. Before 6 p.m. Yeah, that's that's because of the effect it'll have on your blood sugars um, and only a few times a week. So it could be not a bad idea for a sweet little treat sometimes. I notice I do have it when I'm in the gym because the bowl's there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> One of those things I can't stop eating because then I keep going. I know. So I have to keep walking away from it. Mm. Uh, animal proteins. Uh, again, the best way for you to prepare your animal proteins um, not to fry them, to put them in water or broth. Um, eggs, two servings at breakfast or lunch a few times a week. So not a lot with the eggs. White meat about two times, red meat about three times, white fish three to four. Yep. Uh, What's the seafood at the moment? Heaps of seafood, oily fish every day. Um, I have got salmon at the moment every day. Mm, yeah, I think salmon's in mine every day too. Uh, shellfish, three to four. And as I said, I'll write this all in the food prep doc for you. Awesome. Um, whole grains at breakfast or lunch for the fibre content. 
Nice. I actually haven't had grains this week. I've been eating. Oh, I've been eating. I've been eating savoury all day this week, and I've noticed a bit of a difference. Is when I have smoothies, I then want more seeds and nuts. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Mm. Keeping the fruit away. To the smoothies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did that the other day. Great. Yeah, you still chew the smoothie then. Mm. Uh, seeds and nuts. It doesn't say, but see, these things will need to go in and then see how many times specifically you can have the top seeds. Yeah. Um, but some of them might be, are some of them every day, your seeds? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, nuts, maybe okay at breakfast. You mentioned the other day that there's higher protein is not bad for you at breakfast. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like... Yeah, I've got a couple of things. I do a chia seed breakfast thing or a smoothie, and then sometimes I do, uh, at the moment, I'm doing like a lentil chicken hot pot for breakfast. Nice. Yeah. Um, we do go again. But yeah, nut butters, the top nut, nut butters you have, no more than three times a week. Um, being mindful of salt, I would assume that's for the fluid. Um, Retention. Yeah. And yeah, sweeteners. Uh, or natural sweeteners, obviously high in sugar. Caffeine and coffee, not bad, and that's to help to that'll help to manage some of the sugar. But obviously, we want to watch the timing of the caffeine. But we'll go through that as well. Um, nice. Tea. I actually went and bought a dandy chai. Oh, times. That's good. The dandy chai. It's hard oh, to find. So isn't it? Yeah, I've, it's only the first time I saw it in the shop so I grabbed it because like, I've been watching for it for quite some time. Yeah, I can't find it anymore. I, it's not, there's not high on my list, but it's easy on me. I do like that one. Mm. Um, yeah, so juice is just because of the sugars um, and not great to consume every day. And then the food combining, we can go into that if we need to. But the main thing now is to just to get your head around how many times per week you can have certain foods. And then, and as I said, I'll detail this out for you. So then what we start to do is build a little bit of a recipe bank or a kind of bigger picture food guide. So you kind of know what's expected of you week to week. That's all we're doing for this week. We don't want to overwhelm you with too many finer details. Awesome. I love that. Awesome. And do you have any questions about this? No, just probably getting in and having a look at it and familiarising myself. Cool. And then maybe next week we can go through a little bit more of the yeah. details if any more questions come up. That sounds perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. That was, I think, feel like we got through like some legitimate stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Anne. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> All right. We can stop recording now and reconvene. Yes, we'll do that.